time for Studio 7, sponsored by your Permian Basin Chevy dealers. Welcome back. We're joined now with Brandy Bell, our Drive to Fab contributor, here to talk to us about multi-vessel floral arrangements. That is yes, a mouthful. That is mouthful. <laughs> you said it all right. Um, yeah, and it's exactly what it sounds like. We're okay. going to use multiple vessels. Love um, it. I have learned that sometimes floral arranging seems a little intimidating to people because you don't know how to put it all together. Mm -hmm. And also, um, it's kind of fun when you're walking through the grocery store and you see all these pretty flowers but you know, what do you do with them? And so- Super overwhelming sometimes. Yeah, well, and even sometimes the choices are overwhelming. So mm -hmm. if you pick a color palette, I'm always really big into color palettes. Okay. I was doing all neutrals, some white, some pale greens, some ivories, you know, so mm -hmm. it's kind of the color family I went with. That way I know it always matches. The other thing that I like to do is you'll see, um, these are yard clippings. You know, they're just, they're branches. So they're, you can just walk out in your yard. Yes, and you know, don't feel like you have to um, Find the overdo it. Thing. Yeah, absolutely. Right. You know, you can just mix different ones. So the fun part about the multi-vessel is mm -hmm. you're just gonna stack them together. Okay. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start real quick. And so <laughs> I like to organize it all in trays. Okay. So have something to put it in. And I'm gonna show you a few different trays, but we're okay. gonna start with this one because it's got some height. And it's just kind okay. of fun. So you are literally going to stack those in there. Okay. And then um, front to back, shortest to tallest. I like to add little extra elements, okay. you know, kind of give it some height. And so I'm going to start filling these little vases and you're just going to start stacking them around. And that's all you have to do. And you'll see how as you're stacking them, the more you add, the prettier it gets. And a way to keep it really uniform, as you can see, these are all different vases. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm looking through the jungle. <laughs> these are all different vases, but they're all clear and okay. all the flowers are and similar. And you're just putting one piece in each I, one. Yep. And, then, and you don't have to. Okay. You can do multiple pieces in each one. Let's go ahead and I'm going to clip a few and I'm going to show you a little trick. Let me come up front real quick. A little yes. trick on how to measure height. Okay. So, um, I was blessed, my mama did floral. And mm -hmm. so you take your stem and you hold it up on the countertop or table okay. and wherever you want the height to be, that's where you're gonna snip it. So okay. for this one, we're gonna take a little teeny bit off, always cut it an angle. Make sure anything you get from the grocery store, you cut. Now you can put that okay. one in there. And let's grab one of these. Carnations See, I'm are like stressed fun. out figuring out where to so don't <laughs> stack these. You, and it, so there's no right or wrong. That's okay. the great part. But it does look so pretty. The more you add, so I'm kind of measuring. Mm -hmm. See, this one's going to have a few more. We're going for organic and wavy and airy. We're not going for this super tailored sculpted look. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, there's no right or wrong. If you're working on a smaller scale, I'm going to hand you these. Okay. And you're just going to line those up. You could put this um, on an island, you could put it on a bar, you could put it in a windowsill if you want it fuller. You can add, add more, more. vases. Um, really okay. no. So you can also think out of the box a little bit. So this is one that I'm actually going to use for the boys graduation party because we're going a little rustic. Okay. And so I'm going to steal these hydrangeas and Again, know our height. Okay. So this isn't very tall. And you're going to put all the hydrangeas in there. It's a really full mug. And then let's add this guy to the back because we want some height. And then maybe one of these little guys up front. And... So there's really no wrong way to do this. I mean, girl, because everything just, we've done, we just throwing things together, and it looks great. It looks like something that you could really put anywhere in your home. Dick and stuff. So this will actually be um, for an entry table for the kids' graduation party. Let's push them over here. I just took a plate. You could take any plate. Uh -huh. These are little teeny bud bases. These just came out of the yard, and you can where are the scissors. Let's snip a little carnation. Here, let's get one of these guys and add him to the bud vases. And this is really cute if you have company coming for graduation, you mm -hmm. want to put it next to their bedside table. 
um, or you have a smaller space that you just really want something cute. It's a very organic, light, airy way to add a little bit of greenery. Right, so, so this is easy, kind of helps you make you feel confident to do some centerpieces or anything really right. Yeah, I mean, and this is very much, move that guy out of the way, that's very much a centerpiece that you just uh -huh. pull together with some yard clippings and $15 worth of flowers. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for being with, with us today. This yeah. is such a fun idea and yeah. something easy you can do at home. Yeah, experiment, have fun with it. Don't be pressured, um, just you know, kind of go willy-nilly. Have fun. <laughs> so, right, thanks. thanks. Bye.